Hey, hey. Good morning, fellow YouTubers. Today, we get to talk about one of my favorite aspects of riding on two wheels. And that's lane splitting. Uh, why is it one of my favorite things? Who likes to sit in traffic, right? And I, I feel that a lot of these vehicles, these cagers, these four-wheeled vehicles are really, really envious. You know, it's bad enough that we get to ride around on these beautiful pieces of machinery that offer so much freedom, um, but that we also get to split lanes and just avoid hanging out in traffic. So I think uh, vehicles are very, very jealous of us. And ri rightfully so. <laughs> so why don't they just go get a motorcycle? You know, there was um, a research, there was some research done um, by in 2015 by UC Berkeley that said that if just 10% of um, car drivers stopped driving cars and driving motorcycles, that we would, all people would spend about 50% less time in traffic. So there's a great, great reason for us to try to get as many people on motorcycles as possible. But I was able to do a lot of other research that I should go into now before we start getting into where I'll actually be splitting some lanes. So there was a study in 2014 that 80% of motorcyclists said they do regularly split lanes on highways. And of that 80%, 50% of those people said they always split lanes on the highway. Get this, 60% of car drivers know it's legal. So that's scary, because that means 40% of these car drivers don't know it's legal. We need to educate these car drivers because every now and then you'll get someone that tries to close that lane on you as you're coming down 15, 20 miles an hour and all of a sudden, bam, there's a car closing that lane and it can cause you to have an accident. So, and which is really frustrating, you know, they shouldn't be closing that lane because it's legal and two, they shouldn't be doing it in such a way that's going to cause you to almost have an accident. In 2016, Governor Jerry Brown signed AB 51, and it didn't really change the law, it just gave the California Highway Patrol more guidelines so that they could clearly conceptualize what they were enforcing. Um, you know, but it's always been allowed in California, and it was always under the premise of being able to keep these V-twin, mainly, but just any air-cooled engines cooler. So these water-cooled engines, once they came into being, they were able to glom onto our coattails and get the benefits of um, that law because of us. Um, and because police officers at CHP understood how much it was helping with traffic. So let's let all those water-cooled engines on motorcycles do it as well because it really helps with traffic. But those water-cooled rice burners and all those water-cooled motorcyclists, they, they owe us. They, they owe us a thank you because it's because of us that they get to get this benefit as well. So um, there were some lane splitting tips. At, in 2018, September 2018, the Department of Transportation, Department of Motor Vehicles, California Highway Patrol, Office of Traffic Safety and, and uh, Motorcyclist Safety Organizations. So that's a lot of conglomerations, a lot of different agencies got together to develop some lane splitting tips. And I really agree with most of these because it doesn't take much to figure out. This is, this is um, a little bit more dangerous than just um, sitting behind cars and waiting in your lane. So the tips, use caution, use extreme caution. Um, only experienced riders should do it. Avoid doing it between two large vehicles. You, you know if you've ever done that, it feels pretty dangerous, especially if those large vehicles are moving. So here comes a little bit of lane splitting. There's that same Mini Cooper. Um, so it looks tight right there, but you know, according to how you turn the handlebars, you can really squeeze through some tight spots. Um, and then I already mentioned that um, intentionally blocking a lane splitter is illegal. 
And, you know, if someone does it, it's the one time that I think we should speak up calmly and try to educate that that um, car driver that, you know, he just broke the law and you were not breaking the law at the time. So here comes. Now, sometimes when it's just two cars, I'll just sit and wait because I don't like feeling the pressure to have to come off the line really fast. But if I do it, I'll choose the slower of the two cars that were waiting on that crosswalk. And that big Chevy Suburban is obviously going to be uh, slower than that little economy car that's on my left. So that's something good to think about. If you know, because who wants to feel the pressure? If you pull right in front of it like a sports car, then, and he's been sitting there for minutes, and now he has this big slow Harley right in front of him, and you take off really slowly, he might want to send you a message, and that's I don't appreciate what you just did, and. So always go in front of that slower vehicle. You know, there is nine other states that's in the process of trying to make it legal just for the sake of reducing traffic. In 20, 2015, there was a study by UC Berkeley, as a matter of fact, 6,000 um, motorcycle accidents were studied or looked at, and they found that 17% of the motorcycles in the accidents were lane splitters and they, they concluded that that's not very high um, so because of that and because even though it's legal in California and we're still only in the mid range for all the states in the US for fatalities motorcycle fatalities that also kind of shows that it's not really making it that much more dangerous now granted we do have a helmet law and some states don't but um, overall, you can tell that lane splitting isn't really making it that much more dangerous of an activity. So you can see, especially when the cars are just stopped waiting at a light, it's really not that dangerous. The danger increases as soon as people start moving. Because as soon as people start moving, you got people sometimes looking at their phone and they're swerving. Um, you got people that might change lanes without looking. You could be in someone's blind spot, and even though they do look, they don't see you. So as soon as the cars start moving, it's a lot more dangerous. Now there's a big, big truck on my right. I don't know, whenever I split by big vehicles, I just uh, it just grabs my attention a little bit more. I just um, want to become aware of what they're doing a little bit more than typical smaller cars. I guess just because like, collide with them, they would be very unforgiving in any way. So, I think we're coming up towards the end of the video, but lane splitting is something that all motorcyclists in, in America, um, they're, they're kind of jealous of us. I mean, we already got great, great weather, and then we are the only state in the whole of America that's allowed to do this activity. So whenever you get YouTubers coming out here to visit, they always talk about, yay, I get to lane split. And they'll usually, you know, include some of that in their videos because they have a lot of followers that aren't in California and have never split lanes before. So hit like, dislike, leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't, and have a good day.